take you live to Parliament when the majority leader is ready to address uh, the, the media on key national matters, including why they have uh, an objection to the decision taken by the minority that they will boycott proceedings on the floor anytime their leader, case a lot of force, and, uh, goes to court. But yesterday, the Ghana Statistical Service uh, was in the news yesterday uh, for some reason. They released inflation figures for May, which showed inflation was slowing. Now, many would disagree with that because their reality does not reflect this with food prices and other commodities shooting up astronomically. So if you are one of those in such confused state, yes, Kofi Aje with our research there to help us understand. So Kofi, we have data from the Ghana Statistical Survey, which is showing a consistent rise in food prices, especially for the last uh, month. Share with us. Well, so Elton, if you look at the uh, CPI figures, the Consumer Price Index, it's an index, so it does not measure the actual nominal changes in prices. Mm. So people should see it as an index. So the Ghana Statistical Service measure the price change over a period of a basket of goods that they believe that consumers buy each month. Mm -hmm. So the inflation that GSS churns out is not the usual nominal changes that we calculate. So if you see that maybe you are buying bread for, let's say, 15 cities, and now you're buying for 25 cities, the CPI here will not capture that nominal change, which is huge for you. Right. But in the uh, calculation, which is a weighted average, and it's, it's an index. So people should see it as an index, but not the nominal price changes that we've seen. Then talking about the index, if you look at the trend analysis, for instance, inflation has been on a downward trend at the year-on-year -year level. Mm -hmm. Now we are talking about an inflation rate of 23.1%. But it's always interesting when GSS releases these figures, uh, they are what they call the top 20 items mm -hmm. that I, I think I always find it interesting. That, 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 that drives inflation. I, inflation. In fact, these are, most of them are, all, most of them are food items and they all have inflation rates above 35%, mm -hmm. higher than the headline figure of 23.1%. Now, if you look at a product like Garden X, it's, index mm -hmm. or its average weighted average inflation rate is about 53.56.3 percent in the month of may 2024 mm -hmm. so i agree with people when they say that it does not truly reflect what i am feeling but they should also understand the gss doesn't measure only food items only food items mm -hmm. so every item that actually finds its way into the basket has a weight so the de depending on your weight um, you are able to, um, how do you call it, uh, influence the price change. Mm -hmm. If your weight is not really huge, you may have a huge nominal change in price, but you cannot really contribute to inflation. So, so I mean, the question mm, on the minds of it, if food, food prices and, 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 and food is one of the items that mm -hmm. they use in measuring yeah. the inflation for the month of May, if people are complaining that we are in June, so maybe in June things may be different. But as far as May, if food prices, and, and I've heard the argument that says that I mean, we are now spending more than 40% of our, of our income on food. On food. Mm -hmm. So therefore, how do you explain why inflation is coming down when what people are buying on the streets is actually going up? Great. So this inflation we are seeing, the downward trajectory, is at a year-on-year -year level. So it's comparing the CPI of May this year to the CPI of last year. Mm -hmm. So that will give you the weighted average. It's over a period of 365 days. But if you look at the data on the month-on-month -month level, then you agree with the people who are saying that things are not moving downward, but mm -hmm. rather going up prices. Month-on-month -month level, for three consecutive months, we've seen prices change at the month-on-month -month level. At the um, food inflation level, in the month of March, it went up by 1%, 2% in April, and 2.7% in May. Consistent. Mm -hmm. Non-food inflation, 0 0.7, 1.5, and 36 so that will tell you why people are, are not really resonating with the 23.1%. But they should understand that this is a weighted average over a period of one year. Mm -hmm. And it is an index. It does not really measure the actual nominal price change. But if you go to the market right now like we did mm -hmm. uh, with data from SVM Intelligence, who have given us the opportunity to use their data tunnel, you could see that a product or food item like tomatoes, which you could get 
the small paint rubber mm -hmm. container for 75 CDs. Now it's selling somewhere around 180 CDs. Yes, in fact, I, I, I can bear testimony. Uh, exactly. Now, even if you want, want a tomato, you can pay as much as, let's say, five CDs or even six CDs. Yes, for if one. If you are lucky, you can get five for 20 CDs. Mm -hmm. These are nominal changes. You don't expect them to find their way into uh, the CPI, change the CPI that uh, significantly. Mm -hmm. Infl inflation for uh, tomatoes, for instance, has a weight of 1.2%. So okay. just imagine. It cannot really, it's a, it's, it, it can it's influence 100%, the outcome. So just, uh, so mm -hmm. It cannot really, really determine the actual inflation, the entire inflation or the national average. But I agree, if you do the analysis on the nominal and the, you know, just between price changes, you could see that something like pepper, the price has gone up. Uh, as somewhere around 65 CDs last year, June, now you need about 220 CDs to buy the same paint container. Right. Mm -hmm. Onions, one sack was around, I think, 600 or 700 CDs. Now it's above 1,800. So if you look at it on that nominal level, then you agree with the people that prices have really changed. But they should also understand this is an index. It's a weighted average. It does not measure the nominal change. So, so in previous times, uh, food was still one of the main determinants. Mm. There was also transportation. Yeah. And then there was also issues like secondhand underwear mm -hmm. and, and, and all those things. So in terms of the figures that we have now for the month of May, what are some of the key factors? Let me walk you through some of the key. They, they continue to be the key drivers. Mm -hmm. But just like I mentioned, Garden X is number one, the top 20 items to look out for. They are not necessarily the key drivers, mm -hmm. but they are the top 20 items that had inflation rate above the national average, mm -hmm. about uh, you know, 35%. Garden X, 56.3%. Cabbage, 49.2% inflation. Pets and related product, 49.2%. So those who have pets at home, right. you, could, you could see that they, they are... Uh, the animal, the way they are feeding mm -hmm. them. Is exactly. Mm -hmm. Carrot is around 44.4%. Ready-made clothing for boys. That I agree, 43.1%. Traditional beer, pito. Mm -hmm. Pito, inflation is 42.9%. A new car. <laughs> Pito. <laughs> a new car, the inflation is around um, new car. Let me check. New car is 42.7%. Brand new car. Brand new car. The I'm, inflation sure, I'm, is... sure, I'm sure you can trace it to the government. Exactly. <laughs> now, green paper. So, Sorry. Green... You, the, your, your everything is behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so let, let's discuss it this mm -hmm. way. So, I think I was on number you were, uh, new, seven. New yes, car. new cars. And I'm sure the, the, the government is responsible for this. Yeah, I, I, some time ago, they, they said they were going to ban the importation of. No, they didn't enforce it. Oh, I mm -hmm. see. So, postal services, the inflation rate for the month of May is. 42.6%. And let me stress that these are averages, they are indexed. Mm -hmm. So if you pick it on a nominal basis, it could be that the price change is even more than what we see. Okay. But this helps us to gauge the economy, the mood of the economy and the temperature in the economy. So if so, traditional beer, mm. which is uh, well, pito, yes. people are drinking more. People are drinking more, yes. more, more, more pito. I, I mean, it, it, it could be that the price of the, the ingredient that up. goes into mm -hmm. the pito uh, is actually... Appetition is gin, right? Appetition is gin. Yes, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, doesn't fall into it, this. Appetition is not part okay. of this bracket. <laughs> now, okay. let's look at it from eight, um, nine onwards and see uh, some other product. Um, if you can show the nine to uh, maybe 11 or 10. Okay. Uh, I mean, so... There's tomatoes, for instance, inflation rate of 39.7%. Uh, mm -hmm. Fresh uh, green pepper. I know a lot of people will agree with the green pepper. Yes. Because now the price of pepper, I always say, is hotter than the pepper mm -hmm. itself. And uh, dried red pepper. Can you imagine we spent close to $3.8 million mm -hmm. to import uh, pepper and other pepper products into this country yeah. in 2023? New bicycles. Yeah, bicycles are not very expensive. Yeah, if you go to Abu Abu, I mean, yeah, it's a half very, very that. expensive. Mm. Now, fresh tomatoes. Yeah, of course. Also, 39.7%. We hear we also spend close to Ghana, spend close to $38 million to import tomatoes uh, into the country. And we understand that most of these vegetables, the cabbage, I was even speaking on the, the cabbage, for instance. If you mm. go to the Ashanti region, Bosome Front, there's a town called Adeto, where mm we get a significant component of the cabbage we consume. Okay. On one side of the road, there's galamse. On the other side of the road, there's cultivation mm -hmm. of uh, you know, cabbage. And that's really dangerous. It's also affecting 
uh, the price. Let's look at it from so we can 13. Look at, yeah, from 13 downwards. Downwards. So, yes, fresh okra, 39.6%. Imported beer. <laughs> so the first one we saw was the, the pito. Right. Imported, imported beer. beer. It means people are mm. also People drinking. are really drinking, yeah. It's, it's, it's the hard economy. Sweet so apple. Sweet, sweet apple. And of course. 38.8%. There's also firewood, mm. which I will agree. Then we are cutting the trees more. Yes. We're cutting down the trees. So, more. I mean, demand is still there, but supply has also gone down a bit. So, def definitely will affect the price. Let's look at the last batch of the top 20 items to look out for. The last batch on the screen. Let's look at it from 17 to uh, 20, which definitely include other interesting <laughs> women's footwear this time around not underwear mm -hmm. but footwear okay 37 point. and i'm sure a lot of women will agree that currently it's, it's difficult buying footwear because it's expensive mm. and you need you know new ones and fresh ones to to match your clothes and all of that but that's 37.7 percent yam which at the beginning of la this year you could get one tuber for like 15 cities now mm. you need to pay close to 30 cities to get puna that price has also, the inflation is 37. And there's large onions. Mm -hmm. And there's also men's haircuts. In fact, I pay 80 cities every weekend for haircuts. 80 cities every Well, this is where maybe we we'll agree, all men will agree that, as for this one, I, I really, really agree that the, I mean, the inflation for mm. men's haircut has really gone up. I mean, my baba just did renovation. Mm. And then he decided to, 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 also, to adjust the price. I mean, it's yeah, just where I go is 80 CDs, <laughs> yeah, for, for a haircut. But looking at it carefully, food items constitute about 60 to 65 percent of the items that were selling. Yes, the top 20 it items. That food we, is still driving the yes, inflation. It's still really driving the inflation. And just like we said, in the month on month level, food inflation is not coming down at the month on month level. It's mm -hmm. only year on year. At the month on month level, we are seeing a very sharp climb for food inflation in the last three months, cumulative wise, we are talking about close to six or 5% increment uh, in the CPI of, and if this is even CPI, we're right? not mm -hmm. even talking about the actual or nominal uh, price change. Okay. Elton. Well, we thank you very much for coming through with the inflation and how, and the factors that, that drove it to 23. It may have come down, but if you check the, the factors, uh, I mean, food, food and food items still driving inflation in the country. And now that we are seeing prices even go up more, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the reporting in June will take us much higher. We'll take a short break and come back, hopefully take you to Parliament for that majority news conference.